Categorizing Ab Abernathy's life is a tough task. Is he a scuba diving folklorist or a string bass playing spelunker? Was that Ab scooping up salmon in Alaska or is he that Texas cowboy smiling in the old black and white photo? Is he an expert on Elizabethan sonnets or the go-to guy on poisonous snakes? Maybe he's that rough-hewn man hacking through the brush with a machete and pounding out a footpath along the Lanana Creek. Of course, Francis Edward Abernathy is all of these and more. To Texas academics, he's the prolific editor and executive secretary of the Texas Folklore Society. Around Nacogdoches, he may be best known as the man who built the trail. That's the Lanana Creek Trail. This six-mile scenic thread through an urban forest began as a push to reclaim a few yards at a time. He is quick to credit the dozens of people who served alongside him, including Archie McDonald, Carol Schoenwolf, and John Anderson. These men volunteered in 1986 to follow Ab into the woods and begin to separate the privet hedge, laurel, hackberry, and assorted vines from the trail that surely lay beneath. In some places, Ab said, the privet was so thick that they worked on their hands and knees, cutting the first trail by pushing a chainsaw ahead of them. Most of the work was completed in the first few years following the Texas sesquicentennial, but Ab has never really stopped working on the trail. Just this year, he has added monument signs, benches, and a water fountain to the area he designated as Father Marheel Park. For Ab, hard work is just part of enjoying an adventure. He was born in Altus, Oklahoma in 1925, but grew up in the Texas Panhandle and in East Texas. Ab was shuttled from his grandfather's ranch in dusty Hemp Hill County to his mother's family in Dallas and Palestine. He was almost fated to live in Nacogdoches, but it took patience and time to find his place here. For Ab, the years 1934 through 1942 in Palestine combined one part Tom Sawyer with one part Thomas Edison. He crafted skate scooters, slingshots, and kites, but also soaked up knowledge about paramecia, photography, arc lights, and making gunpowder. That last experiment explains how Ab burned down his parents' garage. Ab moved from Palestine to Nacogdoches in 1942 and met Hazel Shelton. She was the cute sophomore and he was the cool, good-looking new senior boy. Hazel recalled that by the end of the year they were going together. But the world was at war and Ab and Hazel knew that he'd be joining the Navy and leaving right after graduation. Ab took part in the occupation of Japan and was released from service in 1946. He returned to Nacogdoches expecting Hazel to welcome her war hero back. Instead, she was enrolled at SFA, enjoying her new college life and friends, acting in plays and attending classes. She had moved on. Ab brooded for a while, then hit the road. Nacogdoches was really no longer home, as his parents had moved to Baton Rouge. In his words, he bummed around the country for four months. Ab returned briefly to Nacogdoches, but showing up in dirty, ragged clothes at First Methodist Church did nothing to enamor him to Hazel. He made his way to work on a shrimp boat in Morgan City, Louisiana. While snapping shrimp heads, it occurred to him that perhaps a better course for his life might be to enroll at SFA using the GI Bill. His rite of passage, which included 5,500 miles of hitchhiking, was over. He now had the confidence that he could do anything. It took a while for Hazel and Ab to reunite, but they did. After five years of tumultuous courtship, they were finally married in 1948. After a year in Switzerland and a spell at LSU for a master's degree, Ab was sorely in need of a paying job. He and Hazel were parents now, as daughter Luana was born in Baton Rouge. The Abernethys arrived dead broke in Woodville in 1951. Ab taught English at Kirby High and drove a school bus route. He began work on his Ph.D. in Austin, then transferred to Louisiana State University and finished his doctorate in 1956. At Lamar State College of Technology in Beaumont, Ab taught English and folklore for nine years. One of his students was Janice Joplin. After she left Lamar, Joplin would visit Ab, play his guitar, and show him what she had learned lately. In 1965, Ab, Hazel, and family moved to Nacogdoches into an 1888 two-story home in the historic district just south of Pilar Street on Lanana. Ab and Hazel still abide there, a few hundred yards from Lanana Creek. Ab formed an old-timey string band with three other SFA professors. The East Texas string and cymbal was anything but classic, but they secured gigs across Texas, including the Texas Folklife Festival. At SFA, Ab taught English and folklore, as well as running the Texas Folklore Society. He continues to travel the world, especially the Far East. With his far-flung adventures, one would think Ab Abernethy would find it a bit mundane to still be cutting through the briars on the Lanana Creek Trail. But the man with many interests has found this one obsession, and Nacogdoches has been the beneficiary of the man who built the trail. The Nacogdoches County Chamber of Commerce, 
is extremely proud to name Ab Abernethy the 2008 Citizen of the Year.